Hey, what's going on everyone guys? It's Green Zero back here again with the semi-finals, which means we are in a best of five and we just saw Mays uh, defeat Nashington in a thrilling 2-1 all good game. So uh, everything I've cast in this tournament is good. Of course, I watched the live stream, so I saw the other side of the brackets happening as well, but I decided to take a risk and do the other side and it's definitely paying off great games being played and now Mays will face Unleashed, who has also fought his way through the bracket and these guys will be facing off. The winner goes to the grand final, loser goes to third place, but enough about that. It's a black hand mirror. It's gonna be a best of five, so I'll keep it short because I don't know how many games it's gonna go. It could be quite a while. We are on Twisted Arena. Twisted Arena, and if we jump down to the bottom right hand side, it's gonna be the amazing Maze. And uh, I didn't even look at the colors or the anything like that, but I'm pretty sure Maze, he loves to play Sign. He's like Kimasabi. He just loves his Sign. For some reason, it's not even gonna show up, so we're just gonna double check. Yes, it is the amazing maze so he's going to be going uh, just for a, a single engineer here nothing too too intense unleashed is probably doing the same thing the one the only the animal unleashed ua really is one of the legends remaining in the game and uh again one of the one of only like a handful of people who've been playing since the start and consistently playing since the start i myself being another one uh but uh, yeah there's not uh, not too many of us left out there again uh, when we were talking, we couldn't really even name any others that would still stuck around for as long as what we had. But uh, let's concentrate on the game now because it's going to be a best of five series. It looks like Maze, he's just keeping his black hand or his cabals together. He's looking to go for a grenade throw, I reckon, and uh, he pulled back just momentarily. Now he will be going forward. Does he get the grenade throw? No, he doesn't get the grenade throw. So Unleash is like, yep, cool, free cabals, and he's going to get the others. No grenade throw. Oh man, Maze. You gotta be careful, the grenade throw has such a short range that when you run to throw them forward, you often lose your whole squad. And because there's two Cabals, they killed them twice as fast. If it was one Cabal, no worries, but there was two, so they killed him so fast. Maze now, not gonna see what Unleash is doing. This is probably gonna be a Raider bug. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's too, it's too dangerous. It's a black hand mirror. If you haven't scouted your opponent, you could get hit with anything. There's so many rushing uh, opportunities for the black hand player. And he's even gonna have to bypass these scouts. He could kill them, but he can't afford it. He has to go see what Unleash is doing. Because Unleash is Unleash, and Unleash will do anything as well. But he's not actually doing anything. He's just gonna eco. He's just gonna like, yep, yeah, cool. Actually, there's a bike coming out now. Maybe to trick Maze, because this looks like a harvester. I reckon it's just a trick Maze. And will he fall for it? He sees the pack up, and he does run forward now. So we'll have to see if Maze is gonna fall for the mind games here. He didn't really poke all the way forward. I don't believe he's seen the second refinery. We'll have a quick check. No, he has seen the second refinery. So he's probably comfortable that there's no flame weapons coming out. Uh, in this match here, and he's probably just going to be fine. There is a bike and a buggy, so Unleash did cause him a little bit of grief, I guess. Four harvesters out now, expanding without a third power plant. It has to power micro there. But uh, Unleash has already moved to the expansion. He's already there. He did the same thing, but of course, he's ahead. And now his fifth harvester is about to make its entrance. Yes, that is a fifth harvester. And Maze uh, still a little bit behind. Again, he did lose a buggy as well, so uh, it going pretty cool for Unleashed. His uh, MCV is under attack here, but it's just uh, Maze just... Uh, Trying to scare Unleash, getting the EVA to say base is under attack and get him to freak out and build more units. He's building a couple of bikes though, so he's got three bikes. Looks like he's going for a fourth as well. Just heading out on the map, seeing what he can do. Ref is down. Maze does not have a refinery. It's a little bit behind, so Maze is only slightly behind. Units now are getting about on point because, or on par, because Maze is constructing a few more units now. Uh, looks like almost called him bike rush. Then I don't know why it just came to mind. And I managed to stop myself, but uh, it's Unleashed UA. His bikes are now getting chased. He will fire, but uh, look at that. Maze kills everything and doesn't lose a single bike. Uh, Unleashed did not focus properly. So two bikes, and he's actually going to go back and get repairs because in the very early stages of the game, having the extra bikes really does help quite a lot. Maze even sending his fifth harvest of the expansion, so not even going five and two. Unleashed, I believe, does have five and two. Yeah, he does. He's constructing more bikes now. He has a second war factory, and he's going into Scorpion Tanks. It's a good map for Scorpion Tanks. There is opportunities for harassment, of course, to go around, but at the same time, with the expansion so close together, uh, you got to watch out because even if you're harassing the other guy with bikes, if there's a million tanks in your base, then you're basically just going to lose anyway because at some point, if it's a base trade, you're going to have to fight the Scorp army and you're going to lose. Uh, what's happening down here? A few bikes from Unleashed and it looks like they all get cleaned up. I totally missed that, but Maze appeared to take very... Look at all the debris flying all over the place. Maze appeared to take very little damage from that. The Scorpion tank, which did run into the base, is now going to pull back. Uh, he could get sniped, but he is going to keep uh, reverse moving here. The other tanks could come forward, and they do come forward, and that's a nice save there. Even picks off a bike as well, so that's nice work. Very fast Dozer Blade here from uh, from Unleash UA, not even going for the second refinery. He's just like, oh, he doesn't need to. He can do two War Factory Scorps with the upgrade. 
of what he's got. He's picking apart me as a spike, which is just a little bit of a pain. He's got good eyes down the bottom. Another battle marker up here. Don't really want to reverse move towards your enemy unleash, but uh, he's keeping the bikes with the Scorpion tanks. Now, this could just be to bolster his damage output because it does work. You can keep the bikes with them, uh, but at the same time, the bikes, you can also split them off and send them around the back. Maze, I think he is... No, he's actually doing the same builds. He's going for Dozer Blade as well, but his Dozer Blade is going to be a long way behind Unleash, who moves his MCD slightly forward, maybe to get a better build radius around here. But he does have Dozer Blade, he does sell off, so he's not interested in any other kind of tech. He just wanted the Dozer Blades. No Flame Tanks as well, which is a little bit disappointing to see. Unleash would have thought he'd love to fl go Flame Tanks, but he has a lot more tanks than uh, what Maze does here. And he has Dozer Blades. It's not always good to be on the defensive as well, because the buildings will block out Maze's units here. And he pulls back really far. Wow, Unleash really could have done something about that. I think he's under attack. Yes, he is under attack over here. Uh, Maze did send his bike buggy around the back uh, of the base here. There's a few Scorpion tanks. The Harvester's surprisingly not actually getting shot up. Unleash, very good control there to save all the Harvesters. And he's only trading... He's, he's barely even trading anything, actually. Maze is just pulling him way out of position. But at the same time, all the Harvesters are safe by the looks of things. And he's going to be fine. Another ref down here. Maze does not take the opportunity to move in with his tank army. Dozer Blades is completed now. And uh, I think he could, he had Unleashed out of position. He could have probably moved in. But now Unleashed is back into position. What's happening over there? Bike still trying to get away. Another one gets picked off by that Cabal squad there. So there's going to be an engagement here. Maze has quite a lot of tanks. But Unleashed has quite a few as well. We have a third war factory down from Unleashed. And it's right on the front line as well. Uh, Maze is going to push forward here. Unleashed has a pretty good conk or pretty good tight position here. And he's going to pull back now. He is losing quite a lot of tanks actually. He needs to fight around this side of the building. And this is what I'm ta talking about. These tanks are doing nothing back here. Because the buildings are blocking them from firing. So Maze actually has an advantage here. It's something that you really need to identify early on. Maze is now curling around. Unleashed is trying to curl back. Take the health bars off because that's pretty crazy. But Unleash is in a lot of in a lot of trouble now. He's under pressure now. His his war factory is being worked with him, but Maze is just pushing around, causing a lot of damage. There's a lot of reinforcements for Unleash. I think he might be able to hold though. Um, he is killing quite a few tanks over this side. He's losing this side here. Maze is just streaming in reinforcements though. I believe he has no. He's only got two war factories, but they're both here, so they're delivering reinforcements straight away. Trying to focus these down. Maze does switch to a harvester temporarily, but that was a waste of a few shots because he doesn't actually kill it, and he decides to go back for the tanks. Unleash sells his MCV. This could be it. No surprise flame tank for Unleashed. And yeah, look at this maze. is in the field now, and he's causing a lot of damage. These harvesters are going to be next on the hit list as soon as these last few scorpions go down. Reinforcements are getting camped out of the war factory now, and Maze just made a very good move, very good decision there. And Unleashed, even though he looked like he was actually ahead for the majority of that, he did not handle that fight well at all. He got blocked out by his own buildings, and Maze took advantage of that. And it comes down in these scorpion fights. It's not just a numbers game, it's positioning. It's a positioning game. Unleashed didn't have the positioning, Maze had the positioning, and now he's winning uh, this fight here. Unleashed is basically dead, he has virtually nothing to defend this now. There's a single Scorpion tank, two more Scorps coming out, forces the sell off here, big fire sale, so that's it. Unleashed UA, unfortunately, will be losing the first game in this series, best of five, so there's plenty of time for a comeback. But Maze, uh, surprisingly, did take that game. Unleashed was looking really good, but uh, unfortunately, just... Again, the positioning just one maze the game, and it's as simple as that. 7 minutes, 48 seconds, 56,057. There's basically nothing in it. So, like I said, comes down to positioning. Unleashed didn't have it. Maze had it. And that's going to be game one. Stay tuned. Game number two is coming up right now. Hey, guys. Welcome back to game number two between Unleashed, UA, and the Amazing Maze. That's right. It's game number two. Maze is ahead 1-0, even though Unleashed looked like he was in a pretty good position in game one. But unfortunately positioning won the game for and probably said that too many times now let's start this game here because unleashed ua has selected traveler 59 full power mode for unleashed so we know that un uh un un 59 unleashed 59 <laughs> we know that uh Tr unleashed loves traveler fire and i can't put a sentence together right now and he will probably go in for a stasis chamber. Yeah, definitely a stasis chamber coming down here at the moment. And the Amazing Maze is on the right-hand side. He sticks with Black Hand. So Maze, uh, throughout this tournament, switching between GDI and Black Hand very fluently here. Again, then Unleashed UA. Traveler 59 in the 1v1 scene is very, very powerful faction here. Of course, definitely uh, rivals, uh, what do you call it, GDI and, uh, and Black Hand. But the reason why Traveler is so good is because the units are so versatile. They do lack tanking power, which means you can push them. But uh, again, once they uh, once they get going, they're pretty hard to stop. Um, but he is going for these two assimilators. Is Maze going for? No, he's not going flame upgrade. He has got a number 
of units here. Now he knows he's against Traveller 59, so he knows he doesn't need Flame. And he's going for two Engineers. He has four squads here as well, which means he can take this. Unleash has one squad here. Oh, he needs to watch out. He needs to watch out. He needs to chill there. Is, can he be fired at? No, he's not going to be fired at. And he goes, oh my god, he kills a whole squad. He kills a whole squad. He almost even kills the Saboteurs. Wow, that was clutch there. And Unleash is coming down now. He's got fast legs. He should be able to take these two, uh, these two spikes. Is he going to get the kill off? He could just go and snipe the Engineers, and that would probably be enough. And he, he's going to go for it. He snipes one Engineer, and he goes straight for the second Engineer. He gets both of them. He pulls back immediately. This Assimilator, that's not going to make it. He's, oh, if he went around, he could have used the spike as cover. Not going to happen. One Assimilator will have to back off, but uh, you know what? There's no flame on these guys. He could take the structure. Even if he gets de-garrisoned, he can literally just... Uh, Literally just stealth, so, but Unleash is going to pull him back. There's probably a Raider Buggy coming as well. No second, uh, we got a second ref out. Raider Buggy actually is in the main. Can reveal stealth, but only at a very short range. So the Assimilator has the opportunity to run and hide. And the Buggy will literally have to get within about, probably like that far in it. Probably about an inch on screen to be able to reveal it. Not can entirely crash into it, but uh, pretty close because they've got stealth deck, but it's a very very short range stealth deck there. So two disintegrator, uh, the disintegrator squads do, <laughs> do remain here. Uh, he could go and take uh, Maze's spike. So did it work out good for Unleash? Probably, I mean, he's not gonna do a lot of damage with these guys, but you gotta remember Maze lost two engineers and he is down a ref because of it. He's about to drop a second ref, so he's gonna have four and two. There we go, he's got four and two. Unleashed has three and one. Uh, but he only has one spike as opposed to, he's just got four harvesters, that's not a good ratio, unless he's going blue tip, he's going to have harvesters queuing all day and all night, but he is going to move back here, he knows there's a raider buggy there, so he doesn't want to engage it, the raider buggy could, with kiting, destroy these squads here, but it's going to have to be uh, pretty intense kiting, and oh, actually, he drives straight down the middle, he takes some pretty serious damage, and he gets the rear armor, and that gives him the kill there, one of the disintegrator squads goes uh, a veteran there, losing two of its squad members, unfortunately, more disintegrator squads joining the party now, and Maze, he's got a couple of units here just drafted, just in case, doesn't want anything to sneak up on him because he wants to expand, but he, I mean, while he's expanding, yeah, he even drafts extra Cabals here. That's fine, uh, just to protect himself so he can expand. He's actually going to go blue tip. He's going to go blue tip and take the spikes. Very powerful, especially if both sides open with rushes because it means their economy is going to be behind. Now, Maze, this is pretty late move here because he did wait for quite a lot of economy to get down. Unleashed, on the other hand, does have five and two harvests. No, he's got one, two, three, four. He must have five and two unless he sent one. Yeah, he's got one over here. He was trying to go to the blue tip field, but he misordered it. He's refixed it now. Maze has to fall short, actually, because Unleashed did take his spike. So that's cost him a bit of time. He will be chewing up some of these Raider buggies here. If he gets a second kill, that might be okay. It's $1,000 worth of damage, but he definitely took more than $1,000 worth. Even gets some damage on another buggy there. Rear armor just doing a little bit too much damage there. He will retake that spike. So Unleashed now down to just two spike. Maze holds one now. The Raider buggies are out and about. He's going to be very disappointed to find that some of the blue tip is already being taken because in order to make this viable, you need as much blue tip as possible and Unleash just took a full load and he's going to be going back to base and these buggies can't do, do anything about that. They've got no DPS on a harvester. You know, they're, they're not going to be able to do anything. He does redeploy. I'm not sure if he's got range down there. That's a pretty big gap. Uh, he's, oh, wow. Yep, he's got plenty of range. <laughs> I need to re recount my stats. So... Uh, anyway, we have Unleashed expanding. He didn't go for anything else. He's just got double portal. He's just content to go with Disintegrators. Very, very powerful. You can keep doing these throughout a vast majority of the game to the late game until uh, the Black Hand player gets the charged particle means. Let's just get rid of that glitch so we can move the, the map back a little bit here. Now, the Gunwalker is obviously trying to make its way down here to, uh, to stop the spike capture, but it has been picked off. And uh, Maze will take these easily. He's probably going to go for a refinery as well. We've got battle markers over here. A few buggies getting destroyed by disintegrator squads. This uh, Gunwalker is clearing the path as well for all of these disintegrator squads. And this Scorpion has his no anti-infantry here. And here we go. Oh, Unleash is going to pull the trap. He's got about a dozen squads here. And they're going to come in. These Scorpion tanks are as good as dead. He needs to draft some turrets here now. Let's have a quick look. He has got something queued now. He's going to put it down. It is a Shredder turret. He needs to split because he could get splashed down. That's going to do a lot of splash damage. Oh my god. He quickly focuses the turret down. So he focuses it down. I think he should just go he's just going to run in here at the moment and i'm not sure how much damage he's going to do he's not actually shooting at a lot of things unleash what are you doing buddy he's made a real mess of that wow he made a pretty big mess of that there these incinerators aren't even doing anything they're just running up and down oh man poor control there by unleashed maybe he was doing something else oh yes he's actually killing this whole base so i was going to say criticizing him there but he was diverting over here he could have done a better job of that to be honest but 
He will destroy the refinery. He even takes more Blue Tiberium. Oh, he's got to watch out that Flame Tank. Barbecue. He barbecues all those Disintegrator squads. He's not going to be enjoying that. Now, Flame Tanks are going to be a problem, but does he have... I mean, he's only got Disintegrators. He needs Cultists, and he's got no Cultists. There's not a lot to stop these Flame Tanks. He needs Tier 2 and 1.5 right now. Get some Cultists out there, but Cultists don't fare too well against massed uh, buggies either. You don't really want to be uh, building Cultists to capture buggies because it's going to be a never-ending supply of the damn things. He did actually go for another ref as well, which means he does not have a lot to counter these Flame Tanks. And the Flame Tanks are actually moving with the army. I'm not sure if this is going to be good or bad. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. This is going to get messy. This is going to be very messy. The Flame Tank's moving forward now. Unleash does pull back. Barbecue time there. The Napalm there just ripping through. The Disintegrator squads will instantaneously die. He runs forward. He tries to get the snipe on one of the Flame Tanks. He does get a snipe. He doesn't lose too much. He goes for another one. And he's going to get it. Oh my god. He lost a big chunk of Disintegrators then. But it's not enough for Maze to break through here. And he will be able to clean up the remainder of the forces here, I believe. And yeah, look at this. There's too many Disintegrator squads. The Gunwalkers are here. They will easily destroy all those units. There is a Flame Tank over there. The Harvester is bugging out over there. Not, or not bugging out, you know, retreating. <laughs> oh, I really should get a new word for that. But uh, Unleash holds fast. Double ref on his expansion. Maze does have the blue tier full, but you got to remember, Unleash took two full loads of it. And uh, so, Unleash, so Maze is not going to be benefiting as much as he wants. He is continuing with the flame tank, flame tank strategies, which are going to be pretty powerful until Unleash does decide to get some culties out, which I don't believe, no. It looks like he might be going for a tier three at the moment, so there's going to be no culties. He puts down a photon cannon just for safe measure, but he must know that there's going to be some of these flame tanks floating around out on the field. There's two here. This harvester will unknowingly actually spot them for him. A few disintegrator squads heading to the bottom, probably for a, a counterattack, but they're going to actually hit that flame tank. They'll easily lose to that flame tank. Now, he is actually microing that harvester away, so he's well aware there's two flame tanks, but there are four seeker tanks, and with proper micro, he should be able to clean that up. He needs to make sure he reverse moves. Yeah, nice, nicely done there. The harvester will get shot at. Wait, is he going to actually kill the harvester? Oh, the harvester's stuck on the flame. He actually killed the harvester with flame weapons. Meanwhile, we got flame tanks down at that flame tank easily defeated. That was never going to be a, a fair fight. There's disintegrator squads moving over there. A lot of seeker tanks. Wow, a ton of them will kill that last flame tank over here. Unleash is moving into the main here, but a lot of sold off structures, and we can see that there are cabal squads here. He will snipe down that scorpion tank which is at least something, and he forces a few more units back, but Unleash is making a move. He gets the flame tank with its rear armor facing him. Oh, that was a big pickup. A supercharge is done, but not charge, not supercharge, just regular charge. And oh, look at this. Maze is going for a redeemer off of just this one expansion here to the blue field. I mean, yeah, he's got three spikes, but it's pretty crazy. He's killing those units over there. He is destroying that. There was a flame tank over here at some point, but I believe it must have been destroyed uh, because it is no longer visible on the radar at all. Meanwhile, these units are moving down here. Is he going to recapture these? No, he's going to try to destroy them. Meanwhile, his force over here was cleaned up. We got score with flame tanks? I guess so. I mean, we've seen it work. It's it's going to be particularly powerful against this combination. Uh, very unusual game, but again, when you see games like this, it forces out unusual play, and both sides struggle to, re to respond. Seeker tanks moving through the middle of the map here. Disintegrated squads moving around. They might just decide to go for the other... Uh, the other Tiberium spike. Now, as Trailer 59 with such fast engineers, you really should just be recapping these spikes, especially if they're undefended. Two flame tanks moving in over here. Meanwhile, the Seeker tank army is coming down over here. He could cut all the power that Maze has. All of his power plants are here, and that would slow down the Redeemer by a lot. I mean, there's mechas coming out now. The tro oh, the Prodigy is here, and see, oh no, it's not actually called down yet. Oh no, is he going for it? No, he, it is called down, so he was actually going for that one there. I thought he was trying to, I thought it wasn't called down, because when you first build it, it's not quite called down, but he does actually, uh, take the engineering facility. They probably wanted the tech center instead because that would have been a better target. But nonetheless, the Seeker tanks now are tearing the space to pieces. They kill all the harvesters, don't quite drop the power, but they could be dropping the power now. Uh, that uh, that, ref that uh, power plant will drop. Maze is at the expansion, but there's no refineries down here. He's going to counterattack. What does Unleashed have? He is going for a, uh, a warp chasm here. Actually, the, the hexapod is out. There's two... Uh, Mechapedes here, not fully grown, but they will be good anti-flame anti, anti flame tank harass or just general harass. Some of the Seeker tanks getting cleaned up now. The rest moving down here gets another harvest to kill. Doesn't really want to fight these supercharged particles, but uh, or these regular charged particles, but he's being forced to. Uh, he's actually going to sit here. Is he putting down the repair drones? I thought I saw repair drones then. No, I must have been seeing things. And he is actually attacking the refinery. He should just attack the harvester. And he's actually going to go for the heroic buggy. So there you go. The heroic buggy taking a lot of damage. But Maze is not... Oh, he is pulling it back now. He switches targets there. And that was a lot of wasted fire because the, the raider buggy didn't die. And he's not actually going to get the refinery. Meanwhile, we got Mecha Peas easily going to clean up those flame tanks down here. Even the lightning spike doesn't finish that one off. The hex is just running straight down the guts. And the flame tanks, both of them going down there. And the mechas are like, yep, see you later. Prodigy is back out. We got tri Pods here. Unleash is in full control of this game right now. Maze just does not have the economy that he needs to be able to fight this. And again, he does have T3. He's trying to get EMP coils. And he's gone for a redeemer. That is... I don't... Oh, man. I, I don't... Like... He doesn't have time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. 
But uh, yeah, and it's right here as well. This, this hexapod is just going to destroy it all. He needs, he's needs he got no power. He needs EMP coils to finish. The hexapod, if it destroys the tech lab, he's going to have to shield this with a, a silo of some kind. Unless he's got an obelisk coming down. He needs something because the upgrade, if it does not finish, he is uh, he's history. He is history. He's got a heroic buggy and he is starting to fire at it. Is it going to finish? He needs it to finish. I think, yeah, it's going to finish here. Unleashed might just choose to teleport away. EMP blast goes off. Rear armor. That's nice work. Meanwhile, there's mecha peeves down here killing harvesters. The hexapod in a fair bit of trouble. Will he phase? He does phase, so see you later. That's not going to be a problem anymore. Maze repeatedly amps it. Did he amp his own tech center? No, he sells off some of his structures. No, the prodigy is there. The prodigy takes the redeemer engineering facility and he will be making a getaway, but unfortunately he gets killed. That's unfortunate. Suicide prodigy there to get some good units. Now these these uh, mechapedes are actually focusing on the refinery. Yeah, where they should just be getting the uh, the uh, the harvesters. No, they're still going for the refinery, just completely cutting him off at the throat. He's like, hey, I don't need to kill harvesters. I'm just going to kill the refinery. And then the harvesters are basically useless, but the harvesters would be much easier to kill and he is going to start shooting at them now these two mechas just causing a lot of problems here and i believe the drone ship is at the center field for unleashed he's got full control of this game now the hexapod is still alive these two mechas are going to make their getaway both mechas are still alive they're pretty badly damaged though and i think they might want to just get out of there because they've got a lot of rank on them uh, well, they've got a lot of experience, but they haven't actually got any ranks yet, so they should rank shortly. They will get that last harvester there. That's nice work. You might want to call in the repair drones or regrow those guys. Again, put, getting a, a Mechapedes on whole ground stance and, and formation moving into camp fields is really a strong strategy. The Hexapod, I believe, yeah, the Hexapod was killed, but uh, now there are, he teleports in extra tripods. There's actually two tripods overlapping there, so that's pretty crazy. You might want to un, yeah, un, ungroup them because uh, <laughs> otherwise they could get splashed down. So we've got four tripods. Maze is still going for an engineer silly, but he can't actually build a uh, epic unit because he doesn't have a tech center. But uh, he needs to do something about these tripods now, which are just running into his base. And uh, he's going to go for infantry, and there's the Prodigy. See you later. And the Prodigy, of course, will die once again, but the damage is done. Suicide MCV Prodigy Conyard Cap and Maze now has a Rax and a War Factory and he has he's got a refinery. He's got a refinery, so he's not out of the game just yet. He has a nice sized army, but Unleashed has double ref at the center. He's got dev he's got devastator warships. No traveler engines, unfortunately. These tripods now changing their mind. They're actually gonna come back, and that probably is a bad idea because he's just gonna gift them. Yeah, these tripods with the infantry there, they can't do too much. They might have to make a run for it. EMP buggy's coming. Oh, he gets a nice EMP blast. The devastator warship is coming from the top, which can easily destroy all the infantry there. And this tripod here now also getting EMP'd, and that's a nice cleanup. Very nice cleanup there for Maze here and of course if you can take these husks that will be even better but these devastator warships they could even just go for the uh the, the structures and they just just win the game straight out uh, still firing at these infantry units here there's a heroic buggy which is doing a lot of damage to that one devastator but uh yeah i'm not sure if that he, he chose his, his uh his um his attacks right there unleashed because he's not doing too much. He does get the racks and he does get the power plant there, which is nice. This other, there's actually more devastators. No traveler engines, of course, which means they're very slow. He's getting an upgrade. It could be the traveler engines. And uh, we'll, we'll see these guys get a pretty big speed boost. There we go. And there we go. Much, much faster, these devastators now. Look how fast they are for the, the size of the warship. And May is now losing his power. And, uh, oh, unfortunately, that, that Devastator Warship is just shooting at random stuff. We've got an attack happening over here, and it looks like the Cinerator Squad's coming out. They should be able to clean those guys up. There is a Purifier coming, though. The Prodigy is there, and he's simply just going to take that Purifier. See you later. And, the, oh, the Devastator didn't actually manage to kill any of these structures. Evenly shot. Oh, there's actually another one there. Oh, my God. These things are everywhere now, aren't they? And Maze has one, two, three, four structures left. That's going to be a problem for him. And Coltus even coming out of the center. More Devastator Warships coming out. He's got a Purifier. He's just going to run that forward. See you later. He got a Veteran Purifier. Okay, so there you go. You might want to move that Prodigy to a much safer location. Sell off one of his refs. But these Devastators are here. They are shooting at the, uh, the ground units here. I'm not sure if that's the best use of their weapon. Uh, they could just be going forward and destroying this. And I think he sees it now. And he's just like, hang on a second. I'm just going to destroy that. Maze is forced to sell. He is forced to sell. Where's the other Devastator? It's just sitting over the top here so it can't get shot at. And he's trying to destroy that heroic buggy. I don't think that's going to work at all. Puts a big smash on the uh, the Konya. You can see how much damage these Devastators actually do to the construction. Now, there's Devastators from every direction now. Oh, my God. This is uh, devastating. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. And there we go. Maze has been defeated and unleashed. Whoa, there was a few moments where he did make a few iffy decisions, but at the end of the day, he was just much more powerful. Maze had the, the flame weapons and stuff like that. He got a bit unlucky with their targeting, but I think more flame tanks around the side earlier on, and he would have really put uh, unleashed in a bit of a pickle. But you can see there, the economy, uh, Maze never really got the backfield going, 
and that cost him. He spent too long at the blue field. Unleash even stole some of the blue field. Big problems for him. Unleash levels the series at 1-1. And there we go, 147,000 to 79,000. What can you say? Much more money than what uh, May's got. He can be a little bit wasteful because he's got so much more. Uh, well on to Unleash, he played a very solid game there. Well on to Maze, he also played a good game there. Unfortunately, not going to be uh, going to be 1-1. Stay tuned, we've got game number three coming up right now. Okay, guys, welcome back to game number three in the best of five series. We're at one apiece, and Maze and Unleashed UA are going at it again. And this time, we have double GDI. So these guys here, they're not sticking with their factions, are they? They're definitely, Unleashed has played a different faction every single game. So we're going to jump in, and it's Torment Tower. Now, this is a Maze-picked map for sure, for certain. He, uh, he will always pick uh, Tiberium-based maps because he knows in Kane's Wrath they're not played very much at all. Torment Tower, very... Very little played out of the five uh, official ranked maps that started off. Tower has played the least and uh, definitely didn't see a lot of action. But we got Unleashed UA playing as GDI Vanilla. The Amazing Maze is also playing as GDI Vanilla. Sticking with his Cyan color. you got to wonder if it, when, when he plays Kimisabi because Kimisabi has also got a thing for Cyan. Who gets the color? Like uh, They both host the game and refuse to join each other. It's like, no, I get Cyan. Look at that. Unleashed is actually going to try to garrison or trying to dig a foxhole. Not going to work. A maze beats him there fair and square. He probably should have made a run for it. He's going to get his spike though, and of course Maze expected to get his spike as well. Unleashed does have a scout here just to block this off, and he will be digging a foxhole, so Maze can't sneak his way in. He's actually going to try to go around. I don't think this is going to work. This is may work. So he is actually going to get around, so that's very nice. So Unleashed is going to have to draft another scout, which he already has, but he's on the wrong side. Oh, if he goes up there, yeah, Maze is going to have to do something about that. He's actually going to dig a foxhole, so can Unleash destroy this squad before the foxhole completes? No, not all of the squad was firing because of the slope, and now Unleash needs to retreat out of there before he takes too much damage, otherwise this squad will chase him and kill him. He took quite a lot of damage, but he wants to stop it because he is Orca rushing, so he is Orca rushing. We have the comm center down. He's not selling it. He's not selling it just yet. We'll have to see what he's going to do with that. There's not really much that he can do with it to... I don't believe if you're Orca rushing, uh, you don't really need it for much more than getting the airfield down. Maze is not doing anything of any kind. He's just ecoing standard eco game. Uh, again, Unleash launching with just two Orcas. Oh, man. And he does this a lot. He, he launches with like three Orcas sometimes or two Orcas. And I'm like, you know, it's it's not really, you know. And he's, he's launching a third now. You really need to wait for all of them to be done because then you get three harvesters. And Maze has no idea this is coming. And this could be a problem for Unleashed because, yeah, he's going to get here. And he even wastes a missile on another harvester there. So we'll have to see if he's got enough missiles now to take out this pit bull. And I do believe he's going to have enough to take out the pit bull. Yeah, he does take it out. The MCV being attacked by an orca. But that orca might just want to, yeah, go for the pit bull. It takes three missiles to kill a pit bull. And he's not actually going to lose the Orca. So one Harvester, two Pit Bulls down, but he hasn't done enough economic damage. Unleashed UA, again, he's on one Harvester. That's not enough. And he only built three Orcas. So there you go. Second Harvest coming out now. Maze is essentially ahead. Uh, yeah, he's got to worry about Orcas, but he can just spam out a half dozen Pits and he'll be fine. It would obviously allow uh, um, Unleashed to catch up a fair bit, but uh, still. And he's actually going to launch again with two Orcas. Uh, I would have thought he'd wait for all three. That way he can actually snipe one pit bull per volley and even if, if he doesn't lose any orcas that might actually be cost effective maze has actually four harvesters here now so again you've got to question the, the the integrity of the orca rush here from unleashed ua it wasn't a particularly strong or effective one he is going to come in now and he is going to try to focus this down now maze did split his firing he split his shots here which means he's going to pay for it with another harvester he's going to start to try to fire at these pit bulls now but he's going to lose every single one of his orcas that orca not sure what he was doing but, uh, I mean, at least he got another Harvester. So, May's now down to just three Harvesters. Unleashed UA also has three. He still retains the airfield, but uh, I'm not sure what it's going to do at this point in the game. There's a number of pit bulls out. Maze probably will abandon the pit production. Oh, power. Miss, miss Micro there. He needs to actually power that up because his, his uh, Harvester is moving away from that. Gun-type weapon damage is rolling in here. No uh, no Orcas are being built. There's Predator tank here as well. And Maze losing some of his uh, units and structures. Oh, no. Not structures. <laughs> Jeez, what am I doing? I've been casting for too long today. Casted like 10 games today. But uh, these pit bulls are going to make their way out of there. They're obviously content. They, they did copper, uh, like not a copper field, but you know, they got a cop, cop to look at the airfield. And it's like, all right, there's no more orcas, so I probably don't have to build any more pit bulls. And uh, he's got no double A, so it's probably just as well. He's got three pit bulls, so he can one-shot an orca. He's going to get repairs on those guys right now. Few Rifleman squad just running around just from Unleashed sold off structures. He now has four and two, but uh, Maze has five and two on his main. 
he's going to have three and two with this harvest joining on the expansion. So Unleashed going to be in a, a bit, bit of a situation. Again, I just can't help but feel that wasn't a terribly effect. Now, he's actually he did actually retain the airfield, and he is going for more Orcas now. Is Maze going to build more Pitbulls? No, he's not. Now, he's got some rocket squads, but they're not for killing aircraft. They're basically just to protect his base, and you can see he's going for composite armor, so he might be going for a Shat Push or a Predator Predator Compo Armor Rocket Squad because it's really powerful because you got to get anti-armor for the Predators and anti-infantry for the infantry, and the infantry are really difficult to kill with... Uh, with the uh, the ammo, sorry, not the ammo, not AP ammo, composite armor upgrade. So he's researching that one now. So we can see fifteen hundred dollars. A predator tank does make its way around. So if Unleash can surprise him, and he only built three orcas again. What's his three orca combo? That he can't get four. He can't get three harvesters with three orcas. He can only get two. Maze isn't going to see this, and his pit bulls are driving away. He does target a harvester, which is full, which is good. You want to target a full harvester uh, because that one there is just lost economy. It's going to drop a hundred bucks worth of tib, and it's got like uh, fifteen hundred dollars worth of tip in it so and he's actually going to get out scot-free so no losses there that's very good two harvesters down from maze that's definitely going to hurt him a little bit he does have compo armor now so he's, a, he's making a move here for unleashed space unleashed does not have ap ammo he's got a lot of apcs he's got no way to deal with the predator tanks uh, except for of course the orcas once they do get back to base but he doesn't have ap ammo and he's not actually researching it either so i'm not sure if that's an error or what, but this tower is down here. Can he fire at the tower? He can fire at the MCV. It doesn't look like he's choosing to fire at the tower. I'm not sure if he can from that uh, that angle there. And he's calling in the Bloodhounds. Maze is now pushing, and only just an Orca position. Oh, that Orca strike. Da Orca strike. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Two of those tanks there almost getting completely destroyed. The Orcas are now rocking up, and they are going to start targeting down these Predator tanks. And the APC is now trying to thin the herd here. The Orcas, surprisingly, do not take a, a lot of damage. They're actually going to get through there. Mines also going off. A lot of the Predator tanks are being completely destroyed, and the APCs are cleaning up. Up. all the infantry all the infantry is almost gone but now he's got to deal with the predator tanks he doesn't have a lot he could put down more minefields if he's got the money that's really the only thing he's got because pit bulls are now pouring into his base he's got pit bulls pouring in the orcas are down he's got a tech center i'm not sure if that was a good idea because i mean he's got sonic emitters but how can he hold this he's now using orcas to fight pit bulls again and these orcas are still they're doing a lot of damage they've done a lot of damage in this this game but now they're just getting completely destroyed maze has them on the deck sonic emitter comes down again maze can just move away from this area and he will be fine unless there's a reclamator hub coming down which I don't think there is. Unleash is now leeching. Oh, there's no power. There is no power. He power micros like a boss, and he does get another kill there. If you get one more shot there, oh no, Reclamator Hub comes down. He could have got one more shot off with the Sonic Emitter. He might just have to sell it. He's got power problems. This power plant is also going to go down. Sells off the tier three. Doesn't need it to build a Marv, so he's like, okay, I'm just going to get rid of that. But, uh, He's going to lose another power plant here. Maze just causing all sorts of problems. There is no power plants here for Unleashed. He is retaining the airfield. Maybe is an option there uh, if he actually survives this attack. But he is going for the comm center now. I'm not sure if Unleashed really needs it. He could probably afford to sell that if he really wanted to. No, he's actually going to try to save it and repair it. Uh, this Predator tank is going to go down to, uh, to Grenada Squad. So there you go. Uh, he's, uh, again, leeching units. He's got a Rax here now. He's under attack. Uh, he's leeching. What is Maze doing though? And this is the thing behind this Maze is you, his reinforcement train stopped, but he's he's teched, and now he's going for double juggernauts and probably a reclamator hub. Uh, it's it's got a, he's got some structure. Yeah, it's a reclamator hub, and he's he's just going to take this uh, this moment. I mean, Unleash is so badly hurt that uh, he's just he's content just to to go for the tech and get the base killers that he needs to just finish him off in a sure victory here. And he will be taking down that last predator tank. So Unleash holds. He's got a Marv out. It's got one rail, one rocket, one engineer. Uh, he isn't actually building another engineer. He might be going for another rocket. Yeah, I think he's going to put this rocket squad in. Good idea to put that one in because the other one has a veterancy, so you don't want to lose that veterancy. But Unleash now, he needs something on the expansion. He's got he's got harvesters, so he can leech. He can leech all day. It's not very far. He's going for some hammerheads. He does not have AP ammo, and he is going to put some of these rocket squads inside the hammerheads, which will really, really help him out against the juggernauts. There's a lot of juggernauts here now. Now, Unleash... He might be forced to marvest this field because he's got no choice. He needs money, otherwise he's going to die. This is not good for a long-term strategy, but he's forced into doing it. He has to do it, and he, he takes just a, a smidgen off the edge here, I believe. Just enough to keep him going, to give him the money he needs. He's even putting rifleman squads in there, and he's got rockets and rifles, just anything he can get in there. I reckon he should just fill it up with all rockets, uh, because he's going to need that, because uh, Maze doesn't have really any anti-air, and he's going to be pressured here. Now, the Marv now, not sure what it's doing. A lot of rear armor damage gets taken, and he will be trying to get out of there now. He's going to have to fall back. Oh, a shockwave artillery. And oh, man, the rear armor. This could not have gone any worse. We have the shock pod coming down here as well. The zone trooper shock pod. Unleash needs that. Look at these uh, these juggernauts. They're so heavily clumped up. We've got a beacon there. But he's probably going to move before it. The Marv is dead. The Marv stood no chance. 
Orca Strike does land on three of those Juggernauts. The Hammerheads do clean up the, uh, the, the Zone Troopers, and he quickly focuses down the Pitbull. Now, Maze does not have any double A, but he could go for a Super Zone Airstrike. Here he comes. Oh my god, there he goes. All the Hammerheads are down, and that is game. If it wasn't for that, he may have just very well destroyed all of these Juggernauts. Not sure how he's going to deal with the Mar, but unleashed going down there sad to say it was a particularly weak uh, orca rush uh, i don't know what why unleashed did something like that and there was no follow-up or anything like that it just yeah he d didn't do enough damage he just put himself behind he played a good game after that but maze again just power there's the resources that says it all there you know he should have waited for four orcas he could have got three harvested straight away uh, instead he sent in with two and of course maze has now time to build pit balls uh, didn't get the jump on him, 82000 to 52000 so 30000 $30, $30, more, you know, in a 10-minute game is definitely going to give you a, a very nice advantage there. But uh, Maze will be heading into the series 2-1. It's a best of five, so he needs to do one more, needs to win one more game, can Unleash come back and secure victory, or will Maze go through to the grand final? Stay tuned, game number four is coming up right now.